Hey guys, it's Leah Silver Question here. Um, today I'm going to show you around my new tack room or tack shed. I recently moved my horse's tack into here and redecorated it, so I thought you guys would like to see. So when you go inside, this is the view you first see. And I will show you around in depth. So when you first come in, there is a carpet here just to like wipe your feet before you step on. When you first come in, we'll start on the left hand side, what you see is my whips hung up, just my short whips, next to some spare girths hung up on the wall. In that corner there, I've got a pink lunge whip, uh, two spooling whips and a little star whip there and I've also got a broom. Um, up here I have my horse's bridle, this is her jumping bridle and it's just sort of like a normal flash noseband bridle and it's got a hanging cheap water bird on um, because she likes to grab the bit and take off especially when jumping because she gets really strong so that just makes sure she can't grab it. Um, this is her saddle. It's just got a waterproof cover and a fleece cover underneath. Um, it's nothing special though, and she's just got a girth on top. Underneath her flat work bridle, um, just a normal cavison, but it's got a loose ring um, snaffle with a lozenge, which I need to clean. This is Ted's tack, and he's just got his saddle pad, saddle, and um, girth and then his bridles underneath and Ted Ted's not my horse uh, silver is my only horse but I share the tack room with Carrie which is Ted and Tallulah's owner and Colette who's Luta's owner and this is Tallulah's bridle and I forgot to say over here I just have spare bits hanging up so this is um, just an egg butt snaffle simple bit that's up there and then I have a loose ring Waterford here and over here I have a continental gag I have Silver's pink bridle it's a synthetic bridle so I use this when it's raining because then it means I'm not damaging any leather tack so just thought it was very handy to have and then I just have a plastic egg butt snaffle and underneath is Luta's saddle and uh, Luta's ridden western so she's got a western saddle so hers just stayed in the corner there because it's a lot more big and chunky compared to like the English saddles there and um, coming on to the back wall I have um, my tack box and inside my tack box I just have a lot of spare tack so I have like um that's a cavisson head collar and then I've got a spare head collar underneath. I've just got like a spare bridle, all that stuff, um, a saddle pad and then I've just got my riding stuff. Um, I have a seat saver, lots of spare tack in that bag, my hat, spare boots and like a bum bag and stuff like that. Up here I have some of her head collars. So this is her rope head collar that I use regularly. She's got this nice cute purple head collar She's got her light pink escadron, uh, rose gold head collar, which I love. And she's got her leather head collar, which has her name on the side, and a rope head collar that came from Spain. Above this is sort of like the medicine cabinet, I kind of want to call it. Um, so we'll start on this side. Up here I just have a human first aid kit. Yeah, stuff like bandages, plasters, just that sort of stuff in case you need it in an emergency. Um, there's some Skin So Soft lotion, which is like, Skin So Soft is good for horses, like keeps flies off, it's good for people as well. And it's really gentle on the skin so you can use it like around their nose and eyes because it won't irritate it as much as like fly spray. Um, I've just got some purple spray at the back. These are my hoof balms here. Heavy scrub, louse powder, mane tail conditioner, fly spray stuff, hoof oil stuff, and then her pink free jump stirrups. And then back over here, 
I have some poultice stuff, I have her first aid kit, and I'll show you what's inside her first aid kit. So the lid is broken, but this is what's inside her first aid kit. She's just got some cotton wool pads, there's some Vaseline, there's eye drops underneath because she got conjunctivitis um, one time. Um, there's just some scissors in there, uh, sun cream because she has a pink nose, pseudo creme for any minor cuts, got some vet wrap, um, there's some gloves, uh, wound cream, more poultice and a digital thermometer and that's all she has in there. And then moving on here I just have some white petroleum jelly and some wonder gel um, at the back I have two leg bandages and they're just kind of like my medical bandages if I need them. I've got all of our spare stirrups and so I've just got some regular silver ones, red ones, green ones and some more silver ones. And then in this little bit um, just have the pot full of her like pens and some chalk for if you want to write on the whiteboard or whatever. Skin's so soft, again it helps with flies and it also works really well for getting off the permanent marker off of stuff, like the whiteboard and stuff. Um, I think it's because it's oil based, I'm not really sure how it works, but it manages to get it off really well. And then I've just got some anti-back hand gel. Um, hanging up here I just have instructions for looking after Ted for the week. Uh, I just keep it there in case I need to remind myself of anything. There's Pony Club books up there tack cleaning supplies and um, in there I've just got sponges, saddle soap, a toothbrush and tack uh, conditioner, that's what it's called. Here I have my exclusive brushes, my grooming brushes, they're really nice. Um, mane and tail, detangler and tea tree body mist. Down in this corner I have camping chairs so we can just take them out and sit on them if we're spending a long time at the stables or want a cup of tea or whatever. This is Silver's grooming box and um, so inside she's just got everything she would need like hoof pick, uh, magic brush, curry comb, sponge, body brush, um, mane and tail brush, daddy brush, all that sort of stuff. And um, she's got some pulling combs, tweezers and then in the bottom it's all their spare stuff um, and plaiting kits in there somewhere as well. Underneath is her spray and sort of like extra stuff box. So inside I've just got like an extra brush for cleaning buckets. I've got tarpaulins which go on top of the tack in winter because this shed it has a metal roof and because it's made of wood it gets really warm inside and then the metal is like it's really cold so it creates a lot of condensation. I'm not the best at like that kind of stuff so I don't really know what I'm talking about but it's along that lines. Um, these are all the stencils for like quarter marking or just for fun. Um, I've labelled everything in here. Uh, there's been bags down there. So there's like purple shampoo, there's different coloured sprays which are safe for horses. Um, detangler, two-in-one shampoo, stain remover, pink glitter which again is safe for horses. Um, shampoo, cooling gel, shampoo, muck off, pesky pest shampoo, pig oil, more shampoo, bit wipes and miracle groom. Um, she has a lot of shampoos and stain removers because she is completely grey and um, the worst possible colour to have for cleaning so she needs a lot to keep her clean. Um, so that just lives there. Up here we have the uh, whiteboard. I'm just covering it up because it has phone numbers but that's where that lives. Down here is just spare saddle stands for putting like if I'm doing tack cleaning or if I need to take the saddle in the car for like a competition or whatever I'll just put it on there and it's got my bareback pad on top. And then coming over here I just have uh, my certificates. Um, to say I passed my equine studies and I have her saddle pads which is my absolute favourite thing. <laughs> so 
here I just have all our ear bonnets. So I have a lot of the Mew ones. So I have the blush pink, the caramel, the lime, um, the fuchsia. And I do have the red somewhere, but I'm not sure where I put it. And then I just have this kind of black one. I don't really know what make it is. Um, so coming onto the saddle pads, they're all rainbow order. So I have this red one that I use for hacking because it has pockets on it. So I can store like a hoof pick or water or whatever in there. Um, then I have this, what make is this? I, d I don't know what make it is. <laughs> this is horse, um, or horse. Um, this is just a plain red saddle pad. I've got the sorbet Lemieux one, the caramel, the lime green, black currant, the lavender, the blush, the fuchsia, and just the white. Um, so that's all the ones I have at the moment but I really want to get my hands on like a blue one because then it would complete my rainbow and I really like blue as well. And then underneath the last things are these two boxes and I've got a little dustpan and brush there. This top box has lunging equipment and reflectives. So I've just got spare lunging ropes. Um, I have like my blue one under there, my pink ones all the way at the bottom. These ones go with my rope head collar and then I just have all like my reflectives, like my ear bonnet, neck strap, boots, stuff like that. Um, in this box here is all my boots and bandages for silver. So I have my pink polo wraps, my red ones, um, I have my overreach boots, so I've just got these two ones which are really good, I use these quite a lot for like cross country. And then I've just got a pair of pink rubber ones. I have bandage tape, hair, um, uh, or what do you call them? Fettle Contendon boots, that's the name. They're Lemieux, this is Equilibrium. And then she has woof wear, um, brushing boots, and uh, Roma brushing boots. Um, so yeah, for cross country, I usually, I don't do top level or anything, so I just do really small jumps, so I just use brushing boots and my overreach boots. And then for any other form of jumping, like show jumping, I'll use her open fronted tendon net lock boots. So here's an overview of the tack room. And that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed watching and like comment and subscribe and please leave any suggestions to future videos down below thanks for watching bye